Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. This is Ranjir Raj and you are streaming on the Study Beast. So in today's topic, we will be seeing Poker's test in simulation modeling. Uh, so it's just a, a small topic based on simulation modeling like uh, we have played the games of cards, pokers. Similarly, uh, the same concept is used in this also. So let's get a brief idea about what this Poker's test is basically is. So let's get started. So first of all, this poker's test is used for the independence, testing the independence. And now this poker's test will consider some digits. Like it will not consider the number as a whole, but instead it will consider the individual digits and that too only three digit numbers. If those numbers are not three digit, then it will round it off to three digits. So if it is like in a decimal manner, like 0 0.597, then it will multiply itself with uh, 1000 and so it will round it off to three digits. So that type of uh, concept is used in this kind of problem. So it is a good advice that you use only three digit numbers for solving this focus test. So now since the numbers are rounded off to three digits and if the numbers are random or truly random, if they are found to be that then there are three cases possible that all the digits are different all the digits are identical that is alike and exactly one pair of identical digits are there so hope you uh, understood all these uh, three terms now moving on to further uh, this focus test or the numbers using the focus test uh, mainly concentrate on the internal digits of the given numbers but not on the numbers as a whole that is individual bits if it is 5 and 2 then it will consider 5 1 and 2 like then it has to go through this three ABCs so for that we'll consider only the individual digits of the numbers now if so we are going with all the digits are different then since it is all based on probability distribution so if you take the probability that all the digits are different then you have to calculate the probability of second digit from the first and multiplied by probability of third digit from first and second then it will uh, consider that the numbers are totally different like since the probability goes with one and so for second digit different from first the probability would be 0 0.9 multiplied by third digit different from the first and second so it will be 0 0.8 so you get for this that is the probability that all the digits are different so that uh, you can calculate the uh, product that is p into n while solving the problems I will discuss regarding that. So in that you have to multiply with this value that is 0 0.72 which is standard for the probability that all the digits are different. Next is the probability that all the digits are identical. Now for this you will calculate the probability the second digit same as the first one multiplied by the third digit same as the first one. Now it is same for both the cases, so we will be multiplying probability of 0 0.1 multiplied by 0 0.1 that is 0 0.01. So this also remains the same and this is a standard for multiplying the table values. Next we move on to the third condition or the third random variant property of Poker's test is the probability that all the digits are identical digits. Now these are calculated simply by subtracting all these that is 0.72 plus 0 0.01 and with 1 you get 0.27 so this also remains the same so this a b c uh, the values of the probabilities are all same you can directly use in the problems as it is and finally you have to uh, compare the observed value with the expected value observed value which you get from solving the uh, problem and the expected value which you expect by using the chi-square test so I have discussed all these in my previous videos on simulation modeling like chi-square test algorithm and solve problem is there. So you can check out uh, that videos too. And this was all about the concept regarding the poker's test in simulation modeling. Now let us move on to the algorithm. So basically there are simply five simple steps for solving this poker's test. So first of all, you have to define the hypothesis for testing the independence as H0 is a hypothesis that Ri that is the random numbers are independently distributed and H1 is a hypothesis that Ri that is random numbers are not independently distributed. 
so uh, all these you can uh, see from the previous videos also in my earlier simulation modeling this steps uh, one remain the same uh, next you have to generate the frequency distribution table for three combinations that is this one a b c by applying the chi square test and this uh, step 3 says that you have to compute the test statistics uh, by using this formula that is chi 0 square is equal to summation i is from 1 to n oi minus ei the whole square divided by ei after you compute that value then you have to determine the critical value for the specific or the specified LOA that is the level of significance at alpha with n minus 1 degrees of freedom and after you compute that you will get some particular value that is a threshold and by using the threshold you can determine whether h0 is rejected or h0 is accepted so it says that if chi 0 square is greater than chi alpha square of n minus 1 that is the computed value of yours if uh, it is greater than this one then h0 is rejected else it, it is accepted so this is all about the focus test the concept and the algorithm of the focus test in my next video i will discuss regarding the problem based on the focus test so hope you enjoyed this video if you found this video helpful please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe thanks for watching this video